High Adventure. Tonight's story is entitled Operation Guinea Pig by Terence Kerwin. Tom Smithers. <laughs> I haven't seen you since... Uh, when was it? The war. Yeah, about that. Well, hop in. We can stop at a pub for a snort. Old time's sake, eh? Oh, good idea. <laughs> yeah, I was out for a walk. I've got to get the weight down, you know. Yeah. Beard be just the thing. Blazes with my diet. Don't meet up with old army buddy every day. House tricks. Oh, fine, fine. Uh, talking of the war, I saw old Jonesy yesterday. Mm-hmm. Haven't seen him in years. Haven't he's changed... I gave him a lift, too, as it happens. Saw him in the high street waiting for a bus. We chatted, you know, about this and that. And Then when we got around to the war, he did a strange thing. Went as white as a sheet, as they say, and demanded I stop the car then and there and let him out. And the last I saw of him, he was hurrying into a crowd, muttering to himself. Well, at least that's the way it looked. I'm not surprised, Tom. Neither am I, poor devil. I suppose it was being a prisoner of war that shot his nerves up like that. Anyway... You should know better than most, old man, seeing you on the planning staff. You arranged that raid, didn't you? I, uh, I helped, Tom. It wasn't being a prisoner of war that made him like that. Or something else. Thank heavens it didn't on my conscience. Sounds intriguing. Not intriguing, Tom. Horrifying. And I mean horrifying. At least the end was. You can hear it. I can tell you now, seeing the war's been over all these years. Oh, I certainly would. I liked old Jonesy. Used to be such a cheerful bloke. Ah, there's a pub. Well, stop there and you can tell me over a pint of the best bitter, eh? Now, what's it to be? A uh, uh, best bitter, I think you said. This order's mine, old man. Same for you. Oh, fine. Two of your best bitters, barman, please. No, this, this old curve will do fine. Mm. Nobody will hear us. This story of old Jonesy started way back in 1943. Jonesy and five other fellows were to blow up an important factory in France, a little place called Macon. Rumor had it that this German factory was developing some new secret weapon. It had to be destroyed. At least, that was the idea then. As it turned out, it was... Yeah, but no, I, I'm going ahead of myself. The men had been briefed and were being flown over France, hedge-hopping, as they say, to avoid the ak This could be a one-way ticket, couldn't it, Captain Ides? Not at all, Corporal. We'll make it. What makes you so pessimistic all of a sudden? Oh, nothing, sir. Out with it, man. Don't have your Irish superstitions making you nervous or the rest of the men. We need all our wits about us for this little lot. Now, out with it. Get it off your chest. That's an order. Well, sir, if you'll forgive my saying this, the Ides of March. (laughs) It's a bad omen, sir. I see. My name, eh? Well, it's rubbish, man. I don't mean my name. Bad omen, indeed. Could well be the opposite, Corporal. They play strange tricks with omens, get me? If you say so, sir. I do. I agree, sir. It could be a good sign. Hey, Harry? Sure, Chancy, a good sign. That's the spirit, chaps. Now, keep that up. I'll see to keep it up, sir. Or I'll personally knock it into her. We ain't on a breeding route march through the village with all the girls giggling. Now, this is it. Of course it is, Sergeant. What do you think we spent weeks training for, man, eh? A picnic? If we keep together as a team, we'll make it. Says you, your bleeding lordship. What was that remark, Corporal? Just nothing, sir. Just plain nothing. Action station, chaps. Get ready to jump. We're climbing now. Now, chaps. Good luck. Back you go, Jonesy. I can't, sir. I can't. Oh, don't be foolish, man. Now jump. <coughs> Come on, Harry. You next. You can look after Jonesy, seeing as your buddy. Calm him down. It's not like him to have acted like that. Now, Go. You next, Freddy. Right, sir. Right. Hurry up, Ray. I'm after you, Sandy. Right, sir. (laughs) 
Lee, your ship's not opening properly. Watch it, man. Oh, blast, as if he could hear me. Hey. Oh, hey. Are you all right, Jonesy? Uh, yeah, but let's check on Ray. I didn't like the way he came down. Oh, come on. Old Ray of Hope will be okay. His luck I never desert him at a time like this. Oh, maybe, but let's check anyway. Hey, there he is. Hey, he's all crumpled up. Oh, no. He's dead. Broken neck. Oh. Oh, blast the war. Poor old Ray of Hope. His luck's let him down at last. Uh, at least it was quick, Jonesy. Let's pray ours will be when the time comes. We'll make it, Harry. You and me. Got to stick together like glue, as they say. Hey? Sure, Jonesy, we'll make it. Hey, here comes the others. Hey, what's wrong with Ray? He's dead, sir. Broken his neck. I saw him come down. His chute didn't open properly. Blast! A man shot before we've even got started. Any more casualties? No, sir. Right. Jonesy? Sir? Carry Ray's body. Give your chute and Ray's to Harry. We'll bury the lot as best we can under those trees. Now, hurry, man. No time to lose. Now, Sarge, about two miles, Jazzy. Blimey, couldn't they have dropped us nearer? Don't be a fool, man. We'd have been spotted. In fact, I think we have been spotted. Captain. What is it, Sergeant? Lorry, sir. There, over to the right. Oh, seen it. Run for those woods, men. Now, hurry. Think it's a German lorry, sir? Or just a harmless French lorry going about its own business? I'll check through my night glasses. It's a German patrol I'm heading this way. Doesn't mean anything, though. The road passes these woods. Oh, wait. The lorry's stopped. We've opened the farm gate and the lorry's driving onto the field. This is it, chaps. We've either been blown or else we were spotted coming down. You mean the entire raid's been blown, sir? They knew we were coming. Could be, Corporal. We'll soon find out. Now, quiet, man. Blimey, Harry. The ruddy pile of jellies have climbed out of the lorry. I can count at least 15. Be quiet there. You heard the captain. Sorry, Sergeant. Hold your fire, men, until we find out what their game is. Achtung, Achtung! You are there in the woods. We know you are there. We found your dead comrade. Come out with your hands up or we shoot. What's the plan now, sir? Run for it or shoot back. But we're outnumbered. We'll attack. But from the rear, we must kill them all. This group is maybe an isolated one which hasn't alerted the guards of the factory yet. So, no survivors, Sergeant. None at all. Got that? Yes, sir. No survivors. Right. Now, you and Paddy stay here and give them periodic bursts from your machine guns to keep them busy after we've gone. Roger. We'll go through the woods. See those trees there? Yes, sir. They're just behind them. Exactly. We'll attack from there. We should be able to creep up on them, so keep them occupied as long as you can. If they attack first, retreat after us, Sergeant. We'll meet up later. But right, sir. When should we start shooting? Not before they do. Give us time to get... Arthur! Arthur! So you refuse to give yourself up? Very well. I shall count up to twenty... Thank you, sir. Thanks. Seven, Men, eight, follow me. Nine, Quickly, but as ten, quietly as you can. No noise, you understand? We're going to take them from the rear. 30, now get moving. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Fire! Sandy and Paddy can't keep them off much longer. Hold your fire till we reach those trees. The captain's mad, Harry. Bloody mad. How come, Jonesy? There's at least 20 ready yards of clear space before we reach those flaming trees. The jellies have only to glance around and we've had it. Mince meat, mate. They cut us to ribbons. Blimey, stop making my blood run cold. Will you? We'll make it. We must, Harry, we must. So for Pete's sake, life back to the ground the moment they see us, okay? Okay, with you. Be quiet there. All right, men, on your bellies. The crawls of those trees. Make it snappy. Sandy and Paddy can't hold those Germans off much longer. Right. Now follow me. Why me? This ground's as hard as my mother-in-law's face. Down there, cotton socks. Oh, watch it, Jonesy. You need to put your ruddy boot in my face. Never mind your own mother in laws oh, Sorry, mate. Got carried away. Wish I was. Wish what, Harry? Back in bleeding blighty, mate. You can say that again. Quiet there. Stop that whispering. Now we're here. The Jerry's will hear you. Right, men. Now make every bullet count. There must be no survivors. None at all, sir. None, Jonesy. This group could warn the factory if any get away. Then in that case, sir... I'm with you all the ready way. Right, man. Position yourselves behind a tree. It'll give you some cover. 
But wait for the next burst of fire. The noise will smother any sound you make. Wait for it. Now. They're firing again. Why don't we answering machine guns? Maybe they're dead, sir. Oh, I hope not. We can't spare the men. Tell us, Blighter. It's only ready work for some bloody human trigger pullers. That's us. Watch it, John. See, I'll hear you. People are doing right butcher years. Shoot, men. Shoot. They've seen us. <laughs> My machine gun's still jammed. Oh, give it here, Sarge. I'll try and fix it. The captain will wonder what the blazes is up. We haven't returned the Jerry's fire. Neither has he. What the oh, blazes is he doing? Hurry up, Paddy. The Jerry's are getting ready to charge us. Well, I'm doing the best I can, Come Sarge. Come on, Captain Fire, can't you? Well, I expect he's waiting to get nearer to the Jerry's before he uses the machine gun. Oh, I know, I know. These things are really useless except for close combat. But I wish he'd hurry. Ah, fixed it. <laughs> there you are, Sarge. It's as good as new, even if I do say oh, so myself. Thank you, Paddy. Now let's give it to him. They've started advancing. Oh, get down here by this rock. No, no, I'll take her. the tree. I'll take that tree. The captain started firing at last. So let's join him. Let the cherries have it. Oh, hey. oh poor one, Paddy. But keep firing. Like blazes. We can leave it to the captain now. Now, where have you got it? In a chest. It hurts, Paddy. Oh, blazes, it hurts. Oh, hold on, Sarge. Now then, uh, I'll, I'll give you a shot to ease the pain. Now, wait a minute. Now, uh, there. Uh, now, that better. Thanks, Paddy. Give my... Sarge! Sarge! Oh, blast! Harry, you all right, Harry? Yeah, yeah Jonesy. Yeah. J- just a cut cheek. A bullet grazed it. I seem to be bleeding like a pig. Let's have a look at it. Oh, blimey, you look terrible. Sure you all right? Of course. I haven't bought one yet. Don't say that, Harry. We're going to survive this lot. You and me. You see. Sorry, Jonesy. Of course we will. It's only a cut anyway. The bleeding will stop soon. Who's that moaning? I don't know. Jerry's have had it by the looks of them. They spread all over the field and aren't moving. Boy devils. Look, it's the captain. He's hurt. Oh, blast. Now what do we do? He may be callous, but he's a good leader. The best. Anyway, let's go and help him. Are you all right, sir? Uh, I think so. It, it, it's my arm. Let's have a look at it, sir. I'll cut away the sleep. Oh, oh you, you've been lucky, mm. sir. By the looks of it, the bullet's gone right through. Mm. I'll, I'll put a few dressing on it. <clears throat> there. That better, sir? Oh, that's fine, Jonesy. Any survivors amongst the Jerrys? Oh, not by the looks of it. They haven't moved, sir. Still lying where they fell. Well, we'll go and check anyway. And then see how Sandy and Paddy got on. I didn't hear them firing for some time. Maybe they've had it. A bad position to hold. They took the brunt of it. Well, I heard them firing, sir, but they started again soon after we did. Oh, I'm glad to hear it. Oh, oh, blast. I, I feel weak at the knees. You, you two go on ahead and, and check on the Jerrys. I'll follow presently when this dizziness stops. Must be lots of blood. Right, sir. Well? All dead, sir. Sandy and Paddy? I don't know, sir. Haven't checked yet. Oh, wait. Here comes Paddy. Huh. Where's Sandy? Oh, he's bought it, sir. Shot through the chest. Lost. Another good man lost. Did you bury him? Yes, sir. There'll be no trace for the Germans to find like last time. That's if they arrive before we blow up this factory. And that's if the Germans weren't tipped off we were coming. And what makes you think that, Corporal? I don't know, sir. But something smells about this mission. How did the Germans know we were in those woods? Maybe some fishy Frenchman tipped them off. We passed a few farmhouses on the way. Uh, could be, sir, I suppose. But I still think it smells. Maybe you'd better just put it down to my suspicious Irish nature, sir. I shall, Corporal. Now, let's get moving. We're still two miles to go. Wait, sir. Isn't that a lorry approaching? I can see its lights. Hmm? Over there, sir, to the right. By heavens, this... It is, I see it. This time we won't stop and fight. No time to anyway, and I can't risk losing any more of you, even if they are onto us. So move it, men. Run, by thunder, run! (laughs) Oh, 
Hold on a minute, Ben. Let's check if the lorry stops by the gate. Sees the other lorry. If they carry on, we can relax. Oh, blast that moon. Won't he ever go behind a cloud when we need it? I'll check with my night glasses and see what they're doing. Has he stopped, sir? Yes. Troops are getting out of the lorry. Blast, they have seen the other one. We're in for it once they check on the dead bodies. They're not stupid. They'll know we're not far away. You mean the bodies will still be warm, sir? Exactly. Now, come on. Run for your lives. Okay, then. Okay, he's off now. We, we seem to have lost them. How far now, Corp? Oh, I don't know. How far, sir? Oh, about, about half a mile. We'll stop soon and take a breather. Oh, we'll need it. Uh, this gear we're carrying is just about killing me, Jonesy. Even if the Jerry's haven't up to dinner. Oh, stop talking like that, Harry. I tell you, we're going to make it. We'll have that pint of ale at the local yet. That's a promise, mate. Uh, if you say so, Jonesy. I do. Oh, okay, Jonesy. I believe you. All right, all right, men. Relax. Relax and take a breather. Oh, oh. I'll go over the plan again, but in more detail. Oh, this ground's like a bleeding in a sprung mattress after yeah. that ruddy trot. Yeah. You can say that again, Harry. It's ready marvellous. How about a picnic, chaps? Be quiet there. This will be no picnic if we don't follow the plan to the smallest detail. <coughs> right. Now pay attention. Right, sir. We'll take this factory by the east gate. Planning staff said it will be the least guarded on account of the cliff we'll have to climb. Once over that cliff, you will use your knives. We must kill the guard silently. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How steep is this cliff? Reasonably easy to climb. Planning staff said we wouldn't need climbing gear. So I suppose they're right. Oh, I hope so, sir. Oh, I'm no mountaineer. You'll manage, Corporal. Now, once past the guards, we'll break into the factory and place the explosives in the places that will cause the most damage. Go for any machinery and any impressive-looking equipment. I don't have to tell you this factory must be destroyed. Any questions? Yes, sir. How do we get out of this country safely? Old blazes will break loose when that lot goes up. Good question. There'll be a car waiting for us in the town. We drive to the coast. A sub will pick us up at 2,100 hours tomorrow night. How far is it to the coast, sir? About 200 miles. 200 miles? Blimey, we'll never make it, sir. Of course we will. The car's a fast job and there'll be German uniforms in it for us to wear. We all speak reasonable German. That's why we were picked for this mission. You might think so, sir. Well, I don't. I'd never pass for a jerry. You passed the test, didn't you? Uh, yes, sir. Well, then. Now... Any more questions? Uh, yes, sir. How about if one of us gets wounded too badly to walk, sir? What then? We leave him, Harry. I'm sorry, but that's my orders. Well, if Jonesy gets in, I'm staying with him or, or carrying him. I'm not leaving him. We've been buddies all along, so what's the use of a buddy if he ditches you? Same here, Harry. We'll see this caper through to the end, one way or the other. You yeah. carry out my orders, men, or you'll both face a court martial when we get back to England. If we get back, sir. We will. Now, here's the address where we pick up the car. When you've all memorized it, I'll burn the paper. Uh, Got it? Uh, Got sir. it, all of you? Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. You, Jonesy? Yes, sir. Harry? Uh, I've got it, sir. Good. Now, there's one vital point I must mention. If any of you should fall while climbing this cliff, no prize to alert the enemy. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Now, let's get moving if we're to pick up this sub. It's going to wait until dawn... And then it goes without us. There's the cliff. And ye heavens, there are two guards. Jonesy. Sir. Harry. Yes, sir. Kill them. Right, sir. Come on, Harry. This is it. <coughs> okay, sir. They did. Good work. Now we'll start climbing. I shall lead. What about your injured arm, sir? Do you think you'll manage? I'll manage. Now, come on. Oh. Hurry up, Harry. I'm right behind you. And stop poking your ready boot into my face. It's bad enough without you trying to flatten it. Oh, I'm sorry, mate. Sorry. Whew. Blimey, you said this was an easy climb. It's a bloody murder. I'm getting too old for this, Kappa. Oh, it's killing me, too. And I'm ten years younger than you. You want me to give you a shove? Let me know. If I fall, I'd yell me a bloody head off. Oh, me too, mate. Me too. Now be quiet there. We've nearly reached the top. Now hurry up, or we... This... This rock's giving way. I'm... I'm falling. Red. 
bloody blazes. He carried out his orders to the letter. He never made a sound. I think he's dead, Cope. From this height, you must be joking. Now, come on. I've reached the top. Now, steer clear of where the captain climbed. Yes, sir. It's really dangerous. Right, you two. Up you come. Oh, where, where's the guards, Corp? Over there, patrolling the gate. How are we going to get them? They'll see us if we charge them. Right. Now, I'll throw a stone over to those bushes. Yes. You two wait here. Now, knife them when they come to check what the noise was. Okay. Right, now get going. I'll give you one minute starting from now. Go! Okay, Cop. The hedge. Right. The gate. Quick. Why me? It's a heavy gate to move. I got it. What the blazes? Oh, that's torn it. The gate had an alarm system. Quick. Make for the factory. Get moving. The searchlights cause us. Run for the factory, mates. For heaven's sakes, run. Patty's at it. Right through the head. Come on, Harry. Come on, Harry. Are you with me, Harry? I'm right behind you, mate. Right behind you. It's up to us now. Oh! Oh, what's wrong, Harry? Get going, Jonesy. It's nothing. I've only been winged. Move it, will you? Go on, move it. Here, take my explosives and blow that blasted place to blazes before the jerry stop you. Okay, Harry. Stay there. I won't be long. Please stay close, Harry. But it was all a trick, a dirty, ruddy trick. Huh? I'm not surprised, Jonesy. Paddy was right. This mission smelt all along, huh? How bad is it, Harry? I got it in the stomach, Jonesy. You go, eh? Leave me while there's still time. Not ready, likely. I... I check the wound, Harry. No, don't. Don't move me, Jonesy, please. Harry. I'm cold. I'm cold, Jonesy. So very cold. Yeah, I, I, I put my jacket around you. Huh. Thanks, Jonesy. You're the best pal I ever had. Huh. Harry, you, you all right, Harry? Uh, no. Go to blazes, Jerry. My buddy's dead! Do you hear me, Jerry? My buddy's dead! There goes the factory, Jerry! What did Jonesy mean by being tricked, Len? Well, they, they were all guinea pigs. Hmm? In other words, expendable. Oh, I say, old man, those are hard words to use. Are they? I think not. You see, Tom, the patrol was used as a cover for the railway. Our chief of staff and his bigwigs knew all along the fact it was a fake. Jonesy and his crowd led the Germans into thinking we'd fallen for it, which they did, after we leaked a little information to them. The other crowd blew up the real factory, concealed Ooh. under an overhanging cliff and safe from our bombers. All right. Now, let's drink to their memory. Mm, good idea. I consider it an honor to call the round. Best whiskey, huh? Uh, not whiskey, Tom. Two pints of best ale. I know they would have liked that better. <laughs> High Adventure is produced by Anne Freed and directed by Henry Duffenthal.